Hello and welcome to another Global Issues lesson from ESLresourcebank.com. Today's topic is Plastics in the Ocean. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is a huge patch of garbage and debris in the middle of the Northern Pacific Ocean. It spans waters from the west coast of North America to Japan and is about 1.6 million square kilometers in size. That is nearly three times the size of France. This garbage island formed because currents near the center of the northern Pacific Ocean move around in a circle, which catches and holds floating pieces of plastic. The currents are called the North Pacific Gyra. A gyra is a large system of ocean currents moving in a circle. There are actually five major ocean gyras in the world where a similar phenomena of plastic pollution is turning the oceans into a plastic soup. The pieces of plastic come from all over the world. Much of the plastic debris comes from land-based activities. Garbage and litter can enter the oceans from rivers and wash out to sea. While many different types of trash enter the ocean, plastics such as fishing nets, plastic bags, bottle caps, plastic water bottles, and styrofoam cups make up the majority of marine debris. Between 1 and 8 million tons of plastic waste enters the Earth's oceans every year and some experts think that could double by 2030. Other experts predict that by 2050 plastic in the oceans will outweigh fish. Many birds, turtles, and other sea animals migrate across oceans to lay their eggs and raise their young. Unfortunately, they eat the smaller pieces of plastic thinking that they are food swimming in the ocean. They also get caught in the garbage. The United Nations Environment Program estimates that the plastic soup causes the death of 1 million seabirds and 10,000 sea animals every year. Well, this has been another Global Issues lesson from eslresourcebank.com. Don't forget to visit our website where you can find a crossword puzzle and a close exercise that go along with this video.